Should you use a credit card or a debit card in 2021? The answer may just surprise you. Growing up, I'm sure we've all heard the stories about debt and that credit cards are evil and we should avoid them at all costs. And that's the reason why that still in 2021, people are almost 50% more likely to use a debit card than a credit card. But when you think about it, the people telling us not to use these demon cards that are doing the devil's work were mainly our parents or family members, many of whom were probably struggling with credit card debt or financial problems themselves, or at the very least knew someone that was. The fact is though, when you look at some of the most wealthy and financially independent business people in the world, what's the one thing that they all have in common? They all use debt to their advantage. Take Donald Trump for example, whether you love him or you hate him, there's no doubt that he's a very successful businessman who started making his fortunes in real estate. In 2020, it was reported that Donald Trump's debt stood at a massive $1 billion. Sounds pretty terrible, right? But the fact is that $1 billion was used to purchase and make assets that are now worth over $3.5 billion. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should all try and get a $1 billion loan and try and build skyscrapers in New York. But what I am saying is that debt, and in particular credit cards, when they're used and managed properly, we can class them as an asset rather than just seeing them as a liability. So here's five reasons why everyone, including you, should be using a credit card instead of a debit card in 2021. Reason number one is building your credit score. Many people just don't realize how important a credit score is. It can have an impact on so many aspects of your life, from getting a mobile phone contract, to getting a lease on the car, or to being approved for a mortgage for your first home, or even getting a loan for your business. Having a good credit score shows the credit providers that you're trustworthy and that you can manage your money and your debt properly. This means you're a lower risk customer to them, which can open a door to lower interest rates or better rewards on the products that they offer. On the flip side of that, a bad credit score shows the lenders that you maybe struggle with your finances and can't manage with handling debt. And in that case, you're a high risk customer to them and they want to manage that risk and also be compensated for taking on that risk. So that's where the higher interest rates come into play and you may not be eligible for products that have rewards or benefits. And in some cases, the credit providers may not want to lend to you at all. So having a credit card that you use for your everyday regular spending, and then making sure you pay it off on time at the end of every month will increase your credit score and open up the door to a lot of opportunities for you in the future. The second reason to use a credit card instead of a debit card is one that a lot of people don't even know about, and that's purchase protection. According to section 75 of the Consumer Credit Act, the credit card provider is jointly liable or just as responsible as the vendor for any goods and services that are provided. That means, for example, if you purchase a sofa and two days into having it, you realize there's a big scratch in the back. When you call up the shop you bought it from and they say, no, that's impossible. It was in perfect condition when it left and they refuse to give you a refund. You can take your complaint directly to the credit card company and claim your money back from them because they have just as much responsibility as the person who sold you the sofa. This type of protection provided by Section 75 of the Consumer Credit Act only applies to credit cards and is not available when you spend on your debit card. Making your money work for you is a 100 IQ play when it comes to personal finance and the grace period on credit cards allows you to do that. Normally, if you get paid, your wages will go straight into your bank account and then say you go to the supermarket and spend £100 using your debit card that money is taken immediately out of your bank account and you no longer have access to it. However, in the same scenario, once you've been paid, if you move your wages into a separate savings account where you're earning daily interest, you can then go to the supermarket and spend £100 using your credit card. When you do this, you're using the credit card provider's money and not your own. So your money will stay continuing to earn interest. Now, when you spend that money on the credit card, you've got a certain amount of time that you can pay it back within before they start charging you interest. This is called the grace period. And in the UK, it's usually around 56 days, but it can vary from lender to lender. But this grace period means that you could potentially earn maybe a month's worth of interest on your money before you have to pay the credit card back. And you would not be able to do this if you had spent it straight away using your debit card. The fourth reason and one of the biggest benefits for using a credit card is the rewards. With a lot of credit cards, you can get rewards just for signing up and then you can earn further rewards as you spend on the card. The rewards can maybe be in the form of cashback, which means for every pound that you spend on the credit card, the credit card provider will give you a small percentage back. So if you're using your cards regularly, this will soon add up. Some credit cards offer reward points, 
and these points can be converted into vouchers for shopping, maybe a computer or gifts. And there's also travel credit cards, which offer travel reward points, which can be used towards the cost of flights, hotels, or even access to airport lounges before flights. You may be sitting there thinking, why would the credit card providers even do this? It's too good to be true. But the reality is the credit card companies offer these rewards as a way of getting you to be a customer and spend on the card. They're hoping that you'll continue to spend and spend on the card whilst only making the minimum repayments. This will mean that you'll start to rack up the interest charges and that is where they make their money. So if you're sensible with your finances, stick to a budget and pay off your credit card bill every single month in full. You can take advantage of all these rewards and reap the benefits for completely free without paying any interest to the credit card company. Keeping your money protected is the fifth reason to use a credit card over a debit card. Now, when you use a debit card, this is usually linked to a bank account. This bank account is usually where your wages come in or where your savings are kept if you haven't opened a savings account yet. So in the event that you're a victim to a hacker who manages to get your card details, they'll have access to all of your money that's in the account. Now, most UK banks are pretty good at sorting out fraud and will give you your money back eventually, but this can take time, weeks, if not months, in fact. So during that time, you may be left with absolutely no money to cover your bills or expenses while you're waiting for the refund. On the other hand, with a credit card, if the hacker gets your details and uses the card, it's the credit card provider's money that they're spending. Your money in your personal bank account will remain untouched. Now, this will still be a worrying time, but at least you've got your own personal money to get you through that time. And that's probably the reason why the response to credit card fraud is really quick and they sort the problem out a lot faster because it's actually their own money that's being used and not yours. So to keep your money and your bank account safe, you should definitely be using a credit card. Now, all of these benefits come with the caveat that you have to manage your money and be responsible if you're going to use a credit card. You have to only use the card for purchases that you would have already made using your debit card meaning that you already have the money for it anyway. If you're the type of person that's an impulsive buyer or you don't trust yourself to be disciplined with the credit card, then credit cards are probably not for you and you shouldn't use them because being impulsive and not paying off your bill every single month is how credit card debt can start to spiral and get people into trouble. If you're new to credit cards and want to see the best beginner credit cards in the UK to get started, check out this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.